the 2016 H1 results are evidence of the successful transformation of Union Bank, what we really see is that there's increasing acceptance of the Union Bank brand. There's improved, improving customer confidence. We are now able to deliver simpler, smarter banking solutions to our customers, and that shows through the numbers. We achieved 9% core earnings growth after taking out you know, gain on sale of subsidiaries. This was possible. Um, we had improved asset yields. Our asset yields improved from like 14.5% to 16.1%. What that means is we were better able to sweat the balance sheet. We've, had, um, we've made much more money than we have in, done in the past from e-business. Um, we have an expanded and improved retail uh, suite of retail products and offerings. We have bespoke products in areas like the north. Um, we have um, we made money from securities trading as well. Um, so net non-interest revenue was up by 27 percent, which is quite um, um, laudable. Um, core PBT is up by 23 percent. That's a combination of the 9 percent core earnings growth I just talked about plus a 20 percent reduction in interest expense. We had virtually little or no reliance on interbank funding in H1 2016 and that helped us achieve a 20 percent reduction in interest expense. We also continued to manage our costs very effectively. As we took out costs from some lines, we were able to use those savings to fund our investments in you know, branch optimization, refurbishing the branches, upgrading our IT. So we've done all these expensive investments without increasing the expense line. So all of this, plus increased efficiency across the board, added, up, added to the um, uh, improvement in the, in the bottom line in H1. You will see that the loan book grew by 33% in H1, um, which would appear to be a lot in this environment. So you need to break it down. That 23%, 33% breaks down into 20% that was purely deval. You know, the, our foreign currency loan book, when we converted it post deval, it had grown by 20%. So the real growth in the loan book was just 13%. And that 13% was from carefully selected sectors. It was in well-structured transactions. We have tightened our risk acceptance criteria. We, it's all local currency because we stopped making new foreign currency loans as far back as quarter one of 2015. Um, we've had a slight deterioration in the NPL ratio. It was um, 6.9 at, at last year and it's come up slightly to 7.1 and that's you know for the reasons we've just mentioned. Devaluation had that impact on the balance sheets of all banks that had foreign currency assets, right? But we take comfort in the fact that we're extremely well provisioned. Our coverage sits at almost 200%. 188% coverage at the end of Q, at H1. Now, what coverage also represents is an opportunity for recoveries. When you've properly provided for your loans, as you make recoveries, that comes to the bottom line. Um, but we will continue to be extremely cautious in growing the loan book. Through all the challenges, the bank has remained very liquid. Our uh, liquidity ratio at the end of H1 was 39%. As I speak, it's still in that ballpark. The minimum um, regulatory requirement is 30%, so we're, we're well ahead of the regulatory requirement. We're also ahead of the minimum capital adequacy ratio requirement, and we, we will continue to uh, retain all of our profit, 100% profit retention, so that we can plow back our earnings 
to sustain, uh, you know, to, to, to manage our capital adequacy ratio requirements. At Union Bank, we believe that the economy will remain challenging for the rest of this year. Um, the, the sector, the banking sector, will not be immunized from those challenges. So things will remain challenging. We expect that the very, very debilitating FX constraints will continue for the rest of the year. So things will not change much, but there might be some slight improvement in FX liquidity, but the challenges will remain. Um, so we will remain cautious. We will not, um, we, we will still maintain very tight risk acceptance criteria for new lending. We will do our lending in carefully selected sectors. Um, we will take advantage of opportunities that emerge. For instance, in the north, we will take advantage of Union Bank's footprint, where one of the uh, uh, most uh, widely uh, represented banks in the north. Our retail offerings will continue to expand them. We'll continue to come up with customized, bespoke um, retail offerings, e-business offerings for various customer segments. That's how we intend to weather the storm. And of course, we'll continue to retain all profits in the business to strengthen the bank's capital base. We are not likely to expand for in foreign currency lending this year. Um, in terms of emerging opportunities, as opportunities emerge, we will take advantage of them. Um, one thing that the bank is proud of now is we have capable staff who are able to take advantage of opportunities as they emerge. In, in, in tough times, if you're well prepared, you would still make money, you would still do well. So we expect that Union Bank will ride the storm and will do well, even though the challenges will persist. Union Bank, building a simpler, smarter bank.